if we were 100% real, raw, truthful, and honest, even though we don't like to admit it, man, we care so much about what people think about us. And if we're not careful, we find ourselves trying to meet the expectations of everybody else. And it's not wrong to have people have expectations on us. But at the end of the day, man, if you're only focusing on what you're supposed to be and what you're supposed to become, it's going to have all this anxiety attached to it because we fall short. And I had to learn the hard way, man. We are all beautifully broken somehow, some way. We've all got stuff. And it's not about you being perfect. And it's not about your performance all the time. It's about daily progress because nobody can judge you if you're applying yourself with your effort. You only know you and you can sell yourself short this year if you want to and you can cut the corners if you want to and you can do just enough to get by if you want to but I promise y'all man as you guys grow up and as you continue to mature and as you look back in the rearview mirror of your life if you don't take control and understand that this is your moment and if you don't take control of this man regrets Thoughts of, man, I wish I should have and I could have, and only what if, they will come alive. You're at a place and a space in all of your lives right now that you control your destiny and nobody can take it from you. And I want you to dream big and dream outlandish and set goals and benchmarks that seem sometimes even too far to attain. And I didn't realize it. But I developed these five habits in my heart and my mind that's changed my life. I call them the five. And it wasn't until about 18 months ago that I realized I had developed these attitudes and these characteristics and these habits that's helped me be 10 years sober. That's helped me be 10 years since I've thought of it in my life. That's helped me be 10 years since I've self-harmed. It's helped me be 10 years since I've had an eating disorder. That's helped me 10 years overcome depression, anxiety, all these issues. It's these habits that I've developed and I've, I've now recognized it was these things that I was intentional of wanting to be better at. It's changed my life. And I call them the five and they're simply this. I learned to be transparent. I learned to be accountable. I learned to work hard. I learned to make good choices and I had to value people. Those five things will change your life forever. And those aren't five things for you to learn to do when you graduate college, when, you, when, you, when you're off and beginning your career and after your first mistake. Like These are five things right now as high school students you can begin to say, I want to develop on these each and every day. You see, when I talk about being transparent, transparency literally means see-through. I had to live a life that I understood something that if I wouldn't allow people to see my hurts, my pains, and my struggles, if I wouldn't live a life that was somewhat see-through, also find the courage to talk about my hurts, my struggles, and my pain, transparency really is this. It's taking off the mask and the fake smiles and the fake faces and acting like you just don't care, but being honest and truthful with somebody in your life, that mentor, that coach, that trusted caring adult, those best friends, where you're willing to be transparent and speak up and speak out and understand that it's okay to not be okay and it's okay to make mistakes, but you have to own them. A lot of us will talk about it, but we're so afraid to take the steps called accountability where you allow people to speak into your life. See, accountability isn't you giving people permission to to hold you accountable and get you into trouble. Accountability is for you because you've already decided there's some areas in your life that you want to change. And change takes intentional choices to be different. Hard work works. You can't get around hard work, y'all. Our culture, let's be real, we're lazy, y'all. Be honest, it's so easy for us just to jump on Google to find every answer to every question that we want. And at the end of the day, yep, You may get an A, but not every A is an A. And this is what I'm saying by that. You can jump on there and you can cut the corners and you can make every little loophole and still get on the surface what looks like an A, but you didn't learn anything about life. Why would you rob yourself the ability to really grow in life? Not every A is an A, I don't care what you say. At the end of the day, you can't get around hard work. And this is what's amazing about this this, this world we live in. Success, it's not that difficult, y'all. 
The majority of the people don't really want to put in the work. They don't want to roll up their sleeves and actually go after their dream. We all like to talk about it. We all like to post about it. We all like to tell people about it. But talk is cheap. What you do is what you believe, y'all. Your dreams and your goals, they shouldn't come easy. And if dreams and goals and things you want to pursue and things you want to become, if they're coming easy, I'm challenging you to set the bar even higher because you can press yourself and you can grow. And it's tough, man. Grow and change and and becoming the better you, it's not comfortable. Nobody likes to be uncomfortable, but change takes change. And nobody can change without being a little bit uncomfortable. And the reason a lot of us don't change our attitudes, our behaviors, how we treat each other is because we don't like to be uncomfortable. It's easier to go back to being who we've always been. The man that's never going to give you your destiny. Because I know sometimes in our culture and this generation, we feel like we're all by ourselves. We feel like nobody understands us. We feel like we're all alone. And let me ask this question. I need every every junior and every freshman in this room to own this question. And it is real. And this is our life and this is our future. How many of you knew in here, if you were 100% honest with yourself, are there times in your story, in your life, do you sometimes feel honestly like nobody understands you? And honestly, sometimes you feel like you're all by yourself. Raise your hand. Hold them high, man. And hands go up all across the room. You know why? Because even though we feel like we're all alone, you're not the only person who feels like that. Many of us feel the way you're feeling. Adults feel the way you're feeling. I promise you, I ripped my mask off 10 years ago, man. And I've never experienced more freedom, more success, more peace of mind. Life isn't about just existing. It's about experiencing all that life has for us. And in this room is greatness. Making the right choice. And we all know what the right choice is. All of us in our heart, in our gut, in our mind, we know what we should and we shouldn't be doing. And the more I learned to listen to that voice and the more I began to always bounce every idea of my dream of wanting to change the world. Every day when I woke up, I looked at my dream and I said, I'm going to make conscious decisions to make good choices and not bad choices. And I say it a lot and it's this way. But in your side view mirrors, it says objects in the mirror are closer than things appear. What it means, what you see reflecting back at you, it's not as far away as what you think it is. And all of your dreams and all of your goals and the things you want to achieve and the things you want to become, they don't start when you graduate. They're right here. They're right now. Your dreams and your goals are closer than objects appear in the mirror, I promise you. And then the last one's the toughest one. The last one is one of the most difficult ones that we're facing, and it's learning to value people. You see, growing up, if I was going to be honest, and I believe most of us on the surface are this way, and it's not our fault, it's kind of like the human nature of who we are, we naturally, it seems to be, are pretty self-centered, self-absorbed, self-circulating around me, 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 where I want to go, what I want to do. I realize at the end of the day, When I was growing up, I would only value people if I thought you were benefiting me. If I thought that you could enhance my life, if I thought that you could add to my life, I could gain something from your relationship, that's when I would value you. That is selfish. And it took me a long time to realize I don't want to be a person who is self-absorbed, that only has time for people if you can help me. But I want to be a person that is intentional and is very thoughtful of adding value to every person I encounter. How can I add value to the people around me? We have to invest in you, y'all. I'm not talking about just money. I'm talking about your energy, your focus, your effort, your sacrifice, your attention. You got to invest in you.